Welcome to Brazil, and you know what they say about Brazil. I actually don't know what they say about but Do I say something about Brazil? Usually people say, that's it, you're going to Brazil. What if Brazil comes to you? So we're gonna make Brazil strong. Uh once we finish the civil war, but uh, that is fairly simple. Immediately I noticed one of the issues is for our people cannot read. So let's try to get people to read. I was wondering why we were not pushing. Half of our army is irregular infantry. We just have some peasants on the battlefield for some reason. I know we can't read, but goddammit, we can afford soldiers. We fixed our civil war and now we can focus on getting the economy in shape. Which to be fair, it is not going too well right now. We basically have no iron here. Immediately I'm thinking, no way I'm gonna be able to compete for Africa because, you know, those people are a bit stronger than me, mostly because they can read. Luckily, I have a few neighbors who are not as strong as me. We still have slavery. Yeah, that probably doesn't help with illiteracy. But I cannot afford a civil war yet, so why not focus on the police? I'm doing something so we can read. I'm introducing schools. Why do we not have schools? To tell you, this has not been going too well so far. All right, we did it. Oh, let me peace out. <laughs> You're now my puppet, and uh, for some reason, I still occupy you. But hey, 26% of our people can read now. That is more than a fourth. I started a war with Venezuela, thinking, oh, I can just go through here. Uh, no, this is impassable terrain. But I have a plan. I'm gonna do two naval invasions. Only they can defend both beaches at the same time for some reason. This does not seem fair. Never mind, I landed. I don't know what just happened. Victoria 3 works wonders. It's a wonder that it works. Oh, and we got schools, yippee! Texas died, by the way. I'm not entirely sure how this will impact the US, but you know what? A weaker US means they're less likely to come down here and beat my ass. I've noticed the more our people read, the less good their standard of living gets. No, I know why it is. 32% of our population are slaves. What? When did this happen? Uh, we, we need to ban slavery. We, we need to get... <laughs> If I'm gonna go start a war with the UK, will they uh, maybe add a war goal to ban slavery on me? If they wanna humiliate me, uh, that's fine. Can you also add slavery, please? No, they're not doing it. I have to back down. I'm doing the same to the Netherlands, but they also just wanna humiliate me. What is this? Fine, I'll get humiliated again. Okay, we can go at least to legacy slavery without starting a war. So we're not gonna do the slave trade anymore. We're just gonna keep the slaves. Oh, <gasps> defensive pact. Let's go. France is not my friend. Well, at least if I get attacked. Venezuela said no to becoming my dominion. Guess we're gonna have to repeat this. The Mexican-American showdown. Mexico's quite big. I wonder how this will go. America, 115,000 dead. I may be losing to Venezuela, but I'm, I will be back. <laughs> I actually lost this. My army can't invade. I don't have a big enough navy for that. But hey, we, have, we got Argentina at the end. Uh, they're rebellious, but that is fine. And Mexico beat America. That is actually amazing. Oh, there's now a movement to ban slavery. Uh, yeah, we got legacy slavery now. We're, we're slowly going towards it, all right? We now got two million slaves. It, it's still increased. I'm starting to steal all the money from the other countries around me, but it's not enough yet. I would try to take Peru, but I lost so many people in Venezuela. I need to wait for my army to hire new people. Yeah, gu guys, I'm, I'm trying to do it as well, but they won't let me. Time to beat up Peru. Ecuador, could you please uh, mobilize, you know? Uh, they're kind of like five units. You have 15 there, which could hold the border, but they're not. And now they're mobilizing after getting half a country occupied. I swear it was less of a percentage before. We nearly have 40% slaves. What is this? Please, I need to get rid of the slavery thing. But YP, we got Peru as our protectorate. Uh, they're still not giving us money. It's, it's basically just so that they're now a custom union. 50% of my people can read. I, I'm about to hit the limit because the rest are slaves. And look, we're finally unlocking stuff when it comes to innovation. Who knew? Having people who can read helps with that. This uh, turmoil from revolution, not helping when it comes to building stuff though. I don't think we're ever gonna leave this revolution. <gasps> Reforms at gunpoint. Yes! Slavery banned! We did it! Yes! Look at the boost in standard of living. This is all the slaves being free. We're now not struggling anymore. We're only impoverished. What an advanced nation we are. Yeah, more people can now read in our nation than in Austria-Hungary. Honestly, that is not a big accomplishment though. I'm now fighting the UK over Granada, but we got France and Peru on our side, so I think we might be able to do this. And I'm gonna try to take British Guiana because there's a bit of gold here and I need money. I see the French armies arriving. Oh yes, France left this and now I'm dying. Help me, my entire army died here. <laughs> Move, come back France, please. I don't know why you left me. The game wants to remind me that we have a shortage of groceries by just popping it onto my screen every five seconds it's not annoying no i don't know what you're talking about very diverse set of armies in british guyana by the way on the enemy side we have two armies they have eight different ones france i love you <laughs> yes 
How did you do that? Actually, I don't care. I don't care how you did it. We're winning. We're winning. Yes. So give his money coming in. Oh, uh, and we're gonna have a revolution. Oh my god. Granada still doesn't want to give up, by the way. Because they hold this little capital, they think, yeah, we can win this war. We don't want to surrender. Now we can repeat it all again with Bolivia because they didn't want to become a puppet. Did I mention how much I love this game? Ecuador, why are you leaving your front where there's no one to come to my front? I swear to god. I'm gonna go to your front. And my puppets just left the border, so now I'm getting invaded. As long as I take them over before they take me over, it's all good. But it worked all out. Now they also officially belong to me, and god damn it is this a lot of money. And in the spirit of my country, we have another revolution. Because why could we just all agree to do one thing for once? Oh! I, am I now a scary boy? I, I mean, I look kind of scary, but thank you, Venezuela. My first act as a strong country is fading the Netherlands. Because they are actually not that strong. I don't know why they are a major power. They're not moving any units down here. I'm not sure if they're just not realizing the dawn sent from the letter about this. I, I guess this was fairly easy. It seems my instability is affecting my puppets. Now only France is here, but I'm not gonna beat up France because they're my friend. Actually, we don't have a defensive pact anymore. We're not friends. Okay, other point, France would kill me. I kind of noticed Prussia is not doing too well. Oh. <laughs> Racist reaction. And at this point, Austria is way stronger than they are. So we're not gonna have a Germany this game. Why do I think the UK money went away? But you know what? We're just gonna go into Central America. If you run out of money, just go take someone else's money. Old Brazilian saying. No matter how much we grow economic-wise, uh, our country hates us. Mexico sided with Honduras. Uh, that is unexpected. Uh, they can't do anything though because we don't have a land border and I'm gonna navally invade Honduras. Oh actually, they have a decent navy. This might be an issue. I guess I have to wait until Mexico is out of this war. Ah uh, Mexico, did you really want to join this? I think you should go back to Mexico. And I will probably have to do this 20 more times before they leave. And there they go. Alright, time to beat up Honduras. Finally! Oh, and look who wants to be my friend again. I just noticed most people don't like me because they're being discriminated. I forgot to go to cultural exclusion. 40% of my people were imported from Africa. Obviously, they hate me if I discriminate them. But people really don't like me. Oh, no. God damn it. God damn it. Those are my gold mines. This is all my money. Uh, puppets, can you take care of it? Thank you. Also, we're going into debt. But that is fine, you gotta spend money to make money. And we're having another revolution because people wanna be racist. Most of our money comes from our subjects, by the way. Then by our gold, and basically nothing in taxes. We are literally Saudi Arabia, but with puppets. I wanna try, can we beat up France? I know how we're gonna win this. They're gonna attrition in the jungle, while we are not, because we know this place. <laughs> All from attrition. <laughs> there comes the famous Lung Pagrani army with zero divisions. Hey, my economy is doing extremely well for during this war. And there's another empty army coming. Once again coming from Luang Pragang. There's the next one coming also from Luang Pragang. How many empty units does this country have? Oh no, we're sending the next one. The eighth Luang Pragang army. Oh no, wait, what? Oh no, oh no, quick move to there. Yeah, yeah, ma no, makes sense. You have to travel all the way around here to reinforce that. So now we're just gonna push that. Yeah, completely understandable. That is... That is definitely just a skill issue on my part. I should have just predicted that the front would split in two and magically teleported my divisions there. No, I get it completely, game. That just makes sense, like, obviously. And now they abandoned the front up there, so now my people are putting... Like I love this game. The warfare just makes sense. I don't know why people would criticize it. Oh, my people just left the front line for some reason? Ah, uh, oh, okay, and now they're on this side? And now they're on this... What? And now we went around there and conquered Guyana? What? I have no idea what is going on. I could peace them out if Spain wouldn't be against it. And they just want to humiliate me, so sure, humiliate me. I don't care. Somehow we got Guyana. We own all of South America. All of these people are our protectorates and we will just slowly make them puppets. We somehow are able to kill a quarter million French people by just sitting in the jungle. This game was chaotic. I don't know how this game works. Honestly, like this is just all breaking. The war system is so dumb. Hope you enjoyed it. Have a good day.